The health department is constantly monitoring our beaches and gauges how dirty it is by checking for high levels of E. coli. The reason we use that as an indicator is that it is not necessarily what makes you sick, but it's something that they can test for fairly quickly and economically, and it would indicate the presence of some kind of waste matter. And that waste matter, or feces, is the culprit that's got our beach water topping the dirty water charts. It could be cows, ducks, geese, humans, seagulls, all the animals. So to find out just how clean or dirty area beaches really are, I started here at Silver Beach and collected samples. I traveled to three more beaches along the Michigan shoreline, gathering water samples from New Buffalo City Beach, and then again five miles later at Grand Beach, and my final stop, Washington Park Beach in Michigan City. And then I dropped the samples off at Sherry Laboratories in Warsaw to be tested. Although none of the beaches tested are under an advisory at the moment, six other Indiana beaches are, and the health department says Lake Michigan's clockwise current keeps that water and bacteria moving from beach to beach, which means high levels of E. coli can pop up at any time, and officials say there's not much they can do about it. There's going to be something in the water because everything that's on the land eventually washes into the water. And then if you, the more hard surfaces you have, the more sidewalks, the parking areas, the faster those elements come off the land into the water.